and we'll have it go up to about the top of our vehicle. So that looks, that looks pretty good for right now. Okay, so when we've got our three sketches here, we can go ahead and start doing some surface modeling um, to kind of get, start getting uh, the features of our vehicle. So uh, you'll want to uh, create a, uh, the, the rail surface um, using um, uh, any variety of curves. One of the ways that I would probably do it is just use a, uh, a sweep um, or even like an end-sided surface would be good. So you can do a surface, um, let's see, sweep, styled sweep, let's see, swept. That would be our first one. This would be our guide. And it will turn into a solid or a, a sheet body like that. And we can change the, the curvature of that surface based on these two arcs. But uh, that sweep will get us the kind of the, the side profile that we'll want. So we come back to our vehicle and we can start placing planes um, to create sectional curves that will define the shape of the vehicle body as it moves away from the center line of the vehicle. So um, some of these, uh, it might be useful to do uh, those, those planes. Um, at different important sections of the vehicle, you can control more of the vehicle the more planes that you put in. Uh, for this though, since it's a fairly simplistic model, uh, we'll go ahead and just insert um, just two planes for right now. So we'll create a plane here at, uh, at the center point of that arc and for the direction we'll want to change that to that one right there. Um, actually, no, we want we want that one. There we go. And we'll create another plane here. We'll change the direction on that one as well. Okay. And then this way we can kind of start defining some uh, some cross sectional curves that will define kind of the hood of our vehicle, the front of our vehicle, um, that type of thing. So once we have those planes. Uh, created, we'll go ahead and do some sketching on those planes. We'll start with this one right here and create kind of the front end of our vehicle. So what I usually do is I'll do a, a straight line kind of defining um, a reference because you want these to be tangent continuous so that you get a nice smooth, uh, a nice smooth curve. Now when you're doing that, um, because of the way that my vehicle was drawn pretty sloppily, just because I'm kind of rushing through this, it might not look super pretty, but using these straight curves is very beneficial. So you'll create a spline. Um, you'll create the second point based off of that line, and then you can go ahead and bring that spline out to meet up with that, that surface. So something like that. That'll give us a nice front of our vehicle. Um, you can go ahead and finish the sketch there. Let's see, it's through an error. Let's see what it says. External curves. Let's get your So Oh, that's fine. That's fine for right now. Okay, so we'll do another sketch. We'll do it on this plane here. And we'll go ahead and rotate it so that it's a little bit more user friendly. We create a line off of the top surface that heads out horizontally and turn that into a reference. We can then create a spline similarly that will define kind of the, the hood of our vehicle. So we'll start at that same point, maybe come out to another point here on the on the uh, the reference, and then our third point will be out here on this on this surface. Um, if you're not able to grab any points on the surface, it is sometimes helpful to create a point um, that intersects with that surface. So what you can do is you can do um, insert datum point point, and you can do an intersection, I believe, intersection point. So the intersection would be this surface and it will intersect with 
oh, excuse me, it'll be this plane and it'll intersect with, let's see, this surface. No, it'll be the outside surface in your data plane. Yeah. Intersects with that. So that's a little bit higher than I want, though. Let's see here. I don't know. I think that I think that might be sufficient. Okay, so we'll come back into the sketch. Oh, hang on one sec. I've got to reorder that. There we go. So now I should be able to, oops, wrong one. Ah, I need it before that. Okay, that's, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so we want to do a cross, we want to do an intersection. And we want to do it with a different line. Yeah, so insert point. We want to do it on this plane, or on this surface, and we want it to intersect with... Why is that not giving me that option? I don't want to go that low, though. I think I skipped a step in my mind up being hurried. All right, so we'll go ahead and undo that point. We want to project uh, this shoulder onto that surface. So if we do a projection, let's see, offset, we want to do a projection, project curve. We can project a portion of this. We want the shoulder to be projected onto this plane, and we will do it along the normal. So we get this uh, nice profile of our vehicle. So now we can do the point and we can do a, let's see here, we want this plane and we want to intersect with that curve. So now we've got a point on that curve. So if we come back in here into this sketch, the point should be there. And so now we can create our spline see here if I can orient this correctly. There we go. Create our spline to go from this line to this line out to the point. Let's see if I can grab it. I don't know if I grabbed that very well. Yeah, let's try that again. Get our reference, convert it. We want to constrain this and this to be on the same line. And we might need to move our sketch uh, for our arm to be constrained to that point. But uh, then we create a spline and we should be able to grab that point. So that would define uh, one curve of our hood. Now I drew this pretty poorly here. This is actually a lot higher than that shoulder is. In fact, I think what we should do is change this so that it's in a vector and we want to do it in the negative x direction. There we go. That's a lot better, that's a lot lower. Okay, so we'll come in here and now we can change where this endpoint is. We want it to be that point down there. So come on. <laughs> 